Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds! Today we will take a closer look at the element Samarium and its two radioactive isotopes, Samarium-147 and Samarium-148. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads. Thanks, and now back to the video. The element Samarium has been first discovered by a French chemist, Paul Emile Lecoq de Bois Baudron, in the year 1879. It got its name from a mineral called samarskite, from which it was isolated. The mineral, however, was named after a Russian mine official, Colonel Vasily Samarsky, who became the first person to have an element named after them. Samarium has an atomic number of 62, and it is located between Promethium and Europium in the periodic table. Being a part of the lanthanide series, it shares many characteristics and properties with other elements in the group. Because of its difficult and expensive production, samarium does not have a widespread industrial use. However, it plays a crucial role in several specialized applications, including production of samarium cobalt magnets and in nuclear industry, where isotope samarium-149 is used in the production of control rods for nuclear reactors. Furthermore, an artificial isotope of samarium-153 is widely used in radiotherapy treatment of bone cancer. In nature, samarium has eight isotopes, out of which three are radioactive. Samarium-146 only exists in very small trace amounts, and it turns into an neodymium-142 through an alpha decay. Samarium-147 makes up for 15% of natural samarium, and it decays via alpha emission into neodymium-143. The last naturally radioactive isotope of samarium is samarium-148, which has an abundance of 11.3%. And just like with the two other radioactive isotopes, it decays via alpha emission into neodymium-144. My sample of samarium is in the form of a metal coin, which weighs just over 6 grams, and it should contain about 0.91 grams of samarium-147 and 0.68 grams of samarium-148 in it, which should give a total activity of 848 becquerels. This activity should be more than high enough to be able to detect it with an alpha-sensitive Geiger counter such as my SC International Radiation Alert Ranger. However, even after subtracting the background, I couldn't detect any significant increase. This is because both Samarium-147 and Samarium-148 emit very low energy alpha particles at 2248 keV and 1932 keV respectively. For comparison, americium 241 emits alpha particles with an energy of 5486 keV. Such low energy means that alpha particles are getting stowed by air really quickly and don't have enough energy to pass through the mica window of the LND7317 Giga-Muller tube. While I wasn't able to detect any activity coming from a samarium sample, exploring its radioactivity was a lot of fun and I certainly learned a lot about it. I want to hear from you. Do you have any samarium samples in your collection? What other radioactive isotopes should I cover in the future videos? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Also feel free to check out my Patreon page where you can support the channel financially and get access to exclusive content. And remember, Stay active.